Hi and welcome to the second episode of my tutorial series on AWS using CDK TypeScript. My name is Farouk Ada and I will be guiding you to the basics of CDK TypeScript. Before we start, I'm very excited to announce that I've been admitted to the AWS Community Builders program in the serverless category. I hope this will contribute to the quality of videos I will share in the future. So then let's look at the agenda. The goal of this video will be to create, deploy, and when we're done, destroy our first uh, CDK stack. And we will start with setting everything up we need to work with the CDK. And then we'll create and deploy our stack. And once we're done with it, we'll also destroy it. We'll uh, go through a couple of steps in this video. And the first one will be to create an AWS account if you don't have one already because we need programmatic access. Next, we will install Node.js because we're using the CDK TypeScript variant. And then I will install an IDE. I personally use VS Code, but you're free to use whatever your preference is. And if you already have this one installed, you can just skip it. Then fourth will be to install the AWS CLI tools and then the AWS CDK. Once we have everything set up, we will create and deploy our first stack. Then we'll check it. Once we're done, we will also destroy it. Okay, let's start with our AWS account. I already have an AWS account, but if you're new to this, just go to aws.amazon.com. There's also a link in the video description. Then we'll face this website. So you can either press get started for free or create an account. Once you click it, you will be uh, faced with the form. You just fill your email here and you pick an uh, account name. And do note that you will need a credit card to finish the account registration. Even though everything we will be doing in this video will be free as it falls under the free tier. And if you want to know more about free tier, just visit aws.amazon.com slash free. Especially if you have a new account, it's very interesting because most of it is valid only the first 12 months of your account. Uh, like I said, I already have an account. So let's switch over to my account. It's an account I've already made earlier. And once you've registered your account and you're logged in, just go to IAM. And IAM stands for Identity and Access Management. And what we want is to create a user. So we'll go to Users, Add a User. We'll name the user. In my case, I will just call it CDKTS User. And here we can grant the access that we want. It's the programmatic access that will generate an access key ID and a secret access key. Uh, we need that for the CDK. And optionally, you can grant it console access. And console access just enables you to log in with that user. Uh, we won't be needing that, so I'll be skipping it. And then I will be adding admin access. This is not advised for any production environment, but as this is a tutorial, it should be okay. Optionally, you can add tags if you have multiple users for different projects, but we won't be doing that. So let's review it. Looks good. Then here we have our access key ID and our secret access key ID. And uh, normally you should not share these with anyone. But by the time you see this video, I will have deleted this account. So uh, let me copy my access key ID. And then this one. And then actually first part of our uh, step is done. Uh, we have our programmatic access. So let's uh, install Node.js. Now that we have programmatic access, we need to install Node.js. There's another link in the video description, or you could go to Node.js.org. And then I will be downloading the latest stable one. In the future, this could be a other version, 
just download the latest stable one. And if you're working on a Mac, as this is for Windows, you can just click on other downloads and there is also a Mac download. You just download it. Once it's downloaded, you run it and you have to install it. Just clicking next, 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 install. I already have it installed on my computer, so I won't be going through the entire installation. But basically you just click next, next, next. You don't have to click that one and you should install it. Once it's done, you're done with the second step and we can proceed to the third step. Now it's time to install our editor. In this tutorial I'll be using the VS Code editor and you're free to use any other editor but if you want to follow along there's a link in the video description. If you click the link or you go to code.visualstudio.com you will see this website and we can just download it here for Windows and if you're working on the Mac you can download it here. And again just like the Node.js you download it and once it's downloaded you can just run it. I won't be going through the entire setup as I already have it installed. But after the installation you should be able to open Visual Studio Code. And that actually concludes this step. Before we get started on our CDK stack we need to install the AWS CLI. CLI stands for Command Line Interface. The AWS CLI is a unified tool to manage our AWS services. We will configure it with our programmatic credentials to access our AWS services from the command line. The CDK will use this connection to deploy our stack into our AWS account. There's another link in the video description. If you click on it, you'll find this page. Once we're on this page, just scroll to the operating system that you're using. In my case, it's Windows and install the AWS CLI. Just as previous downloads, you just need to install it. I already have it installed. But if you want to check if the installation went successfully, then you can open a command prompt and just uh, type AWS dash dash version and it should output something similar to this. Now that we have this installed, we can start building our stack. We are now ready to create our first CDK stack. Navigate to a directory where you want to keep your stack. This is where I will keep it and let's open the terminal. First we need to install the CDK and we will do this globally. So npm install dash g aws cdk. Once it's installed let's check for cdk dash dash version. That looks good. So now let's install TypeScript. npm install dash g TypeScript. Okay, now that we have that done, let's create a directory that will house our CDK. I will call it my first CDK. Let's navigate inside of this directory. And here we will execute the command to create a CDK stack, which is CDK init and we will specify our language, which in our case is TypeScript. And this will take a minute, and after a second, our stack is ready to work with. So just a moment. And for those who had installed VS Code, we can use a shortcut now. Code and then dot. It will open this project in your IDE. And this is the CDK project that we just created. I won't go into each directory now, but in a later video we'll have a deep dive in each directory and how to utilize them. For now we're just going to work with the lib which houses the infrastructure. We have an example SQS, we will not be using it, I'm going to convert it into a lambda. Now we'll just paste in some code that will be the infrastructure for our Lambda function. And the Lambda function is just a service that AWS provides. It's a compute service that will run our code without the need for a server. And then we'll make a new directory source, which will house the code 
that will go inside of this lambda. So let's create a new file. index.ts and here I will paste in some very simple code that will be our lambda function which will take in an event which would have a name string and then output the result which will be good job and in my case it will be Farouk or else it will be good job and that will be returned so let's save this and now we are ready to deploy our CDK stack, but because it's the first time that we're deploying, we also need to bootstrap our environment. And in order to bootstrap it, we need to configure our AWS CLI. And this is where the access key and secret access key that we got in step one come into the game. I'm just going to paste them here. And I'm in AUS1, so this is just good for me. And I'll press enter here. And now that we have that configured, we can run the build. This will compile our TypeScript code into JavaScript. And now that's that done, we can do a CDK diff. And with the diff, we can check what we're actually going to deploy if we deploy it without doing it yet. So here we can see that we're going to deploy a new role for the Lambda and a Lambda function. That actually looks good. And before we're going to deploy it now, let's bootstrap our environment. This is just the thing that you do the first time you use CDK in an environment. So in next builds, we won't need to do this. This will also take a minute. Okay, our environment has been bootstrapped now, so we can execute the command to deploy our CDK stack, which is CDK deploy. This will also take a second, but before it deploys, we will need to confirm it. So we do wish to deploy these changes. The CDK will now use the AWS CLI access to deploy our AWS Lambda inside of our environment. Nice, our stack has been deployed. So let's go into our AWS account and see uh, if our Lambda is there. So I'm gonna go to Lambda. I do have to go to the right region, of course. I'm gonna go to EU West 1. And here we see the first CDK Lambda. Let's test it out. So I'm going to make a test uh, event. And as we said, we were expecting a name. So I'm going to enter a name here. And because my name is Farouk, I will enter Farouk. So let's remove the rest. And I'm going to save this test event as test1. Let's save it. And then execute the Lambda. And the response is good job Farouk. So it seems to work. Our CDK code has been deployed into our environment through the AWS CDK. So now that we have this part done, we also need to destroy our CDK stack to clean it up. So I'm going to execute CDK destroy, which will then destroy everything that was provisioned inside of this stack. So after this command is complete, our environment is clean again, and that will conclude this video. In the next video, we will make a CI-CD pipeline and store our code in a GitHub repository. So if you enjoyed yourself or you learned something, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you all for watching.